Hey, it's Matt at Roughhouse Studios. Welcome to Canna Basics. Today we're looking at the best pen batteries for 510 THC or CBD cartridges. This episode is sponsored by New York Vape Shop. You can find all the devices used in this video at nyvapeshop.com and get a free gift with the code ROUGH2. With a growing trend of THC and CBD oil 510 thread cartridges out there, you may find yourself in the dilemma of wondering which is the best kind of vaporizer battery to use for it. There's almost as many types of devices as there are cartridges themselves. We're going to look at the stylus type, the flat micro, a variable voltage, a mini compact, as well as a box mod vaporizers. First up is the stylus. Now the stylus is the most simple of all of them. It doesn't have a power button, doesn't have any controls or anything like that. It's air operated and it's just usually a simple stick with a 510 thread on one end. They are compatible with most types of cartridges and are really, really easy to use. You just inhale and it automatically works just by inhaling through it. Now, the pros of the stylus are is that they're simple to operate and usually, like I said, the most affordable. The cons are you have very limited temperature options and usually they're small and they have a small battery capacity. Next up we have the micro or the flat style. And you can see that it's flatter, it's not round like the other ones. And it still has the 510 thread at the top and it fits most different types of the cartridges. Uh, one thing I like about these is that they're usually charging by USB. And like I said, they are adaptable with many different types of the cartridges, pretty much any kind. Uh, the difference between this and the stylus, it does have a power button. And many times, not always, but many times it also has uh, multiple different power settings. This is, is the Steam Cloud Micro available at nyvapeshop.com and it does have three different settings for temperature. Uh, the pros are the micro pens, they're, they're affordably priced, usually about 20 bucks for these. Uh, they usually have micro USB charger rather than the the kind that you plug into the USB adapter. Uh, they're very compact, easy to hide. Uh, problem again is that they're usually small and have a small battery capacity. Next up, we're going to look at the variable voltage pin. Now, much like the other ones, it's a style, like a pin style vaporizer, but the big difference on this is that it has a variable voltage. And usually this is at the bottom, sometimes it's at the top though, but usually at the bottom there's a little dial that you can use to set the voltage at different types. And then you could use it for different temperatures, different types of cartridges, or just to get a different uh, flavor intensity when you use the vaporizer. These usually have a power button, and uh, rather than having multiple settings, it's a variable control at the bottom. Uh, the pros of these type are that you can dial in the best voltage for your cartridge that you're using, and you can use them with other types of um, uh, add-ons as well too and usually they have stronger batteries than the other two smaller uh, the cons are is that the height of it leaves the carts vulnerable and they're larger and they're less stealthy and can't really put them in your pocket as easily and this brings us to the compact style pen or the this is the, actually the steam cloud mini 2.0 and these are like a side by side the cartridge actually goes down beside the battery they're usb charging usually and you can see that there's a little cutout there where the cartridge will go down into it. They do require usually some sort of magnetic uh, adapter that will help you adapt the cartridge and so that it'll stick into the device when you stick it in there. And so they also require, or they don't necessarily require, but they work better with the cartridges that are a little bit longer. And unless they have an adapter that actually extends it, which some of them do. I really like these kind because they're very pocket friendly. The pros are that they're compact and stealthy and that inset connection, it protects your cartridge because your cartridge is hidden out in the device. Cons are it does require a magnetic adapter. They're usually included, but they're small and easy to lose. And it's best suited for the longer cartridges as the small ones might get lost down inside. And now we're going to look at the box mod. You might consider the box mod sort of the helicopter of vaporizer pens. It's a little bit more complicated than most of the others. It has a power button. It also usually has a, an up and down button to control the variable voltage. It also has a uh, compatibility with sub ohm tanks. So you have a lot of vast compatibility here and you also have a lot of functions on these that you may not ever even need to use with a actual cartridge pen because they work with a lot of other kinds of add-ons and adapters and sub ohm tanks and such like that. 
but they are also very effective for the cartridges. They fit most 510 threads just fine, and you can lower the voltage down to suit whatever kind of cartridge that you have in the device at the time. I really like using the box mod, especially this one. This is the Steam Cloud, and it's the Steam Cloud box mod. It's a lot smaller than some of the other ones. It's very compact and really easy to use with these cartridges. Uh, the pros and cons are that it uses 510 cartridges and sub-ohm tanks. Uh, it has most options for the power and resistance in different settings, and it usually has the strongest batteries. The cons are is that they are bigger and less stealthy, although this is a small one, and usually they're more expensive than the standard types of vaporizer pens. So when it comes down to it, it kind of depends on your needs. If you really want simplicity and affordability, one of the micro or the styluses is probably best for you. If you like adaptability, then you probably want to go with the variable voltage at the minimum. I personally like these compact ones because they protect the actual cartridge itself and they're really, really pocket friendly and stealthy. And if you're a, a purist or if you really want to get the most bang for your buck, you might want to get with the uh, box mods and use it with lots of different devices. If you want to pick up any of the devices that we use today, be sure to check out nyvapeshop.com. Use the code ROUGH2 to get a free gift. And thanks again to those guys for sponsoring this video. Hope you enjoyed this video on the best pen to use for your 510 thread cartridges. If you did, hit that like button and make sure to check out roughhousestudios.com for hundreds of cannabis culture videos made just for you. This is Matt from Roughhouse Studios. Thanks for watching.